Thank you for watching Not My Bag. If you're watching this, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're listening, give a five-star review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Not My Bag. I'm Joe. Next to me is George. Today was meant to be a fancy dress special, but last night I got too pissed up and forgot my costume. <laughs> I'm not impressed. <laughs> I'm not impressed. George, I'm really sorry. Yeah, no, I'm not impressed. I still think I'm a bit pissed now, to be fair. Do you know walking the streets of London with this on? Not great. Good thing to pull, though. Nearly no? got arrested. Did you? Yeah. For noncin? <laughs> Don't say... <laughs> Oh, sorry. How, how are you though, Joe? Oh, this uh, is I'm, so hot, man. I, I'm a bit hungover, uh, but I'm fine. I went to see Beyonce. Oh, sorry. I just farted in <laughs> Sorry. You farted in there? Yeah. Sorry. Carry on. I, oh. I can smell it. I oh. can smell it. Um, yeah, no, I'm fine. I went to see Beyonce last night. How? With Pretty Little that? Thing. It was so good. Fun? Ariana Grande was in the box next to us. And... Basically, I she doesn't look the same though, does she? We had a little wave, but Max went out to the toilet and uh, managed to meet her and get a picture, which yeah. is wild. How old is she now? How old? Why do you care? That was she, a very she, specific she, question. She just looks a bit old. Ariana Grande does not look old. She In does. what world? She looks a little bit old. No, she doesn't. She does. She, she is so youthful and young. Right. I'm pretty sure she's like mid 20s. God, if Ariana's old, then what am I? I'm decrepit. I'm decaying right now. She, look, Pardon me. she looks older. George, she's wearing sunglasses with her hair scraped back. <laughs> oh, but no, last night was really fun. I was with some fun people. I was with Max, Grace, with Alana from Love Island. Mm. Gemma. Gemma. Alana, Owen, it's Lana. I said Lana. You said Alana. Did I say Alana? Yeah. Well, I meant Lana. Um, Gemma Owen. Yeah. Your celebrity crush. I told her. No. I said, hey, Gemma. Don't my little brother wants to... That's so fucking wrong. That's what I said. That's what I said. I had some tea as well yesterday. Someone told me that there is someone from the summer Love Island last year that has chlamydia <laughs> because her man's been sleeping around. Uh, and I'm going to let you at home decide who you think that is. No, no, we're not skipping over last night. Because mm. you, you, you had a really good time. I like, had a great time, like, yeah. Like, really good. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you had such a good time yeah. that we're going to put up a picture on the screen now. We'll, we'll blur the person's face. There better be half of this blurred. But you had a great time. I did, George. I did. They, were all Beyonce, the way, they came all the way down for you. George Bags, <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> shut your mouth, George Bags. Uh, yeah, I might have enjoyed myself. You know, Beyonce just got me in the mood. I feel like falling. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, no, it was a lot. It was a lot. Um, and I'm very hungover. And then the day before I went to Hoopla, didn't I? Yeah. How's that? Oh, it's hellish, George. Hell, I feel so rough. Enough, yeah. I've had a nice quiet weekend, actually. And a bit of sunbathing and that, you know. Wholesome. Wholesome. I'm like, you. Mine was very wholesome. You've just been feral the last couple of weeks. What do you mean, feral? <laughs> like, you just haven't stopped. Let's take it back. I did last weekend. This time last week, you were in the Love Island Villa that we're going to yeah, touch but, on. Yeah, but just before that, I went out and did that night. Do you remember? I went to that certain club where that lady pulled three carrots out of her minge and oh then ate them. Oh my God. Oh, to give you guys like this story. This needs to be context. I went to this club. In it's London. like the club where like Harry Styles and Lizzo and all that go. No um, phones. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like, I don't even know how we got in. Um, Underground? No, no, I don't think so. Oh, George, I can't even remember. Fair. Um, Standard. And I was in there and Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox are in there. Flex. Which is wild because apparently they split up, but you heard it here first. I, oh, did they? Well, apparently, ages ago. And um, oh. Oh, we were just stood next to them watching this lady pull three carrots out of her minge and start eating them. Oh, fuck. And this other guy, these are like the shows. The other show was there was a power drill and the guy got his penis out mm -hmm. and put it down. I thought we said we were going to make these pods more family friendly. What's more family friendly than a drill in your bell end? Do you know what I mean? Joe, fucking hell. Sorry, kids. Oh my God. So then after that, I then went to, I had four hours sleep, woke up, went to Luton Airport to then fly to Love Island Villa with How Grace and How Nella. was the new Love Island Villa? Oh, it's the same one as before. Is it changed? Does it look better though? Uh, pretty much the same, I think. Pretty much the same. Yeah. It's bigger. It's the same. Can you still see all the cameras? 
Yeah, it's the same villa, George. Okay, I'm just checking. No, no, it's fine. Could have changed in a year. Um, Paul's still the same. It's mad though. I can understand how they forget the cameras completely. Really? Because they're just like so small in the corners like you would never realise. Oh, right. It's very bright. The only thing I would say is it's so bright in there. Like all the ceilings are lights. So like really black like, bright lights like these fuckers right now. I'm like <laughs> really bright. So that's how they get them up. Because you know, a little bit of tea for anyone Appa at no, home. Apparently when they wake them up, they go, they, it's like a, a sound system or something, isn't it? I, I don't know that. That's why when they wake up in the clips, they're like, oh, because they're like, good morning, yeah, Ireland is really loudly. The reason why the lights are so bright is because sometimes filming the recouplings and stuff takes them into like three, four hours. Oh yeah, they lose track of time, don't they? So then they lose track of time. So the villa's got to be really dark and almost like uh, sterile. Do you know what I mean? Like a kind of, like, it is a set. Because well, Ron, Ron said that, didn't he? He said like some nights I were going to bed at like 5am, waking up at like three in the mm. afternoon. Yeah. And then by the time they were ready, it was getting dark. And their bodies were just like all fucked up. And also one shower between at some points, what is there like 17 of them in there sometimes? Oh, one shower, oh, and the outside shower, one shower, like a couple of toilets and that bath. That's all, what you see on TV is all they've got. You would hate to be a cleaner in that villa. Oh. Cause it just must be so like messy. Also, you know what I'm like with my toilet troubles and stuff? Like I would be shitting in that bath if I couldn't get to a toilet <laughs> in time. <laughs> Also, more tea. Fucking not really, hell. not really tea, just funny. Shitting in the bar. Last series in South Africa, <laughs> everyone at one point had that bug that oh, gave them the shit. They had a yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know they call it like barley belly and stuff, yeah. didn't they? They had that bit in South Africa. But didn't the they? whole villa. Lana really? told me yesterday it she said at one point it, everyone compared it to like shitting piss. Oh like, my that god. That is how ill that they were. That is fucking That is how ill they were. Some things should be kept <laughs> inside. Mm -hmm. Like me all weekend. Yeah. You for the foreseeable. So the villa was great. I want to rate the cast actually. Yeah, Can I, I say let's cast? get them up. I'm going to get them up. We actually know one of the cast members going in, don't we? Here so they are. First up, we've got Ruchi. Yeah, she's, she's, she's she, fit. She looks nice. Yeah, she looks like she's going to be fun. She looks tiny though. Beautician as well. Yeah, and she seems like a bit of you. Ruchi, yeah, she's quite nice. Is her hair like dark red or is that just my eyes? I think it's just your eyes. Just she looks eyes. like she's going to be fun. Who's the next one? Tyreek. Tyreek. They always get a semi-professional footballer is in. Is he semi Oh, yeah, he is. Let's go Ty. Yeah, he's... You know who's friends of him? Chloe Brockett. Is she? Yeah, she's mates of him. I she like is. his tattoos on his arm. They're quite cool. He looks massive. Yeah, he looks like he's really tall. Molly. We know Molly. We know Molly. Molly Grace Mark. We know Molly. We do know Molly. I did think she had a boyfriend. I can't lie. I spoke to her like two, three months ago at an event and she had a boyfriend. So that's, that's news to me. Oh, but he's a bit gutted right now watching he, this. He's pit and he works on cruise ships and stuff, doesn't he? So he's in the middle of the, the Atlantic Ocean. He probably doesn't even know. He doesn't even know a thing. <laughs> <laughs> by, the no. time he, by the time he docks up, he's going to be watching Love Island. Like. No, no, I might, I might be completely wrong. I probably am completely wrong if she's going in there, but that's that's what I thought. The next one is George. Is this oh. the one that's getting cancelled? Yeah, because he's like, so, wasn't he like homophobic and Yeah, someone dug out some tweets, I think. From years ago. But that's weird to me because I thought normally the first thing these people would do would be to delete old tweets, no? Yeah, or just do your research first. Like yeah. Like ITV themselves and yeah. actually dig deep. When he leaves, we'll have to get him on and question him about it. I can't believe they're <laughs> still letting him go in, if it is all true. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Sorry. George. Catherine. Catherine. Oh, she's from Ireland. She's the female dammy of this series. Is it back in Mallorca? Yeah. Yeah, it's the summer one. Oh. She's a real estate agent as well. So she's, I used to do she's that. a mixture of Andrew and dammy <laughs> as a woman. Because da Andrew Dunn, real estate in Dubai. I can't. Dammy was Irish. I love that for her. And we got yeah. Medi's next. He's the French guy. He's, he's actually French. What do you want? Yeah. Baguette. Ah. We. Oui. Ah. I think that has been a murder. <laughs> <laughs> Gives Ratatouille vibes. Ella. Ella's quite fit. Yeah, Ella's stunned. Yeah. She looks like oh, she's going to be fun. From Glasgow. There's Mitchell. I feel like Mitchell literally looks like Luca. Like they've cloned Luca. Mitchell looks like a guy I know called Cam Kirkham. And, okay. Anyway, next one. Or not. Jess. Jess looks like she's going to be a fucking hoot. Where's Jess? I want to be friends with Jess. Oh yeah, everyone's raving about yeah, Jess. Yeah, Jess looks like she's going to be lit. And she's fit. Always helps. I'm down for Jess. And Andre. Andre Furtado. 
And he's got and he's got a flick in his name. Does he know Nelly? What does that mean? Um, what does the flick in your name mean? Is it Andre? And, Andre? Andre. 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 Beyonce. <clears throat> That's not a real name though, is it? Beyonce is her real name. Is it? Mm hmm. Beyonce Giselle Knowles Carter. <laughs> I thought everyone knew that. <laughs> but they're not. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's like second nature to you. Mm. Fucking hell. Do you know what I was thinking the other day? Because you, um, wasn't like Kelly Rowland at Hoopla? Yes. Yeah, if she walked past me in the street, wouldn't have a clue. Wouldn't have a clue. That's mad to me because I feel Nadine like... Nadine Coyle, she walked past me in the street. I'd ask if she needs help with her bags. That's it. I Nadine Coyle was so good at Hoopla. Like standout what she, what did she sing? Girls Aloud songs. She has a song called Go to Work, which is really good. Was Natasha Bedingfield there? Yes, yeah, she was. She did Unwritten. I love that song. I know. She was really good. Love that song. Do you know who was a bit underwhelming? Kalish, you know, my milkshake brings other boys to the air. Because that's probably her only song that everyone well, knows. Well, there's other songs of hers I like, but it was a weird set. Mm. Anyway, I was steaming again, so. You are like, you need to slow down. That's all I'm going to say. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Um, <laughs> so what do you think about this year's cast, though? Of Love Island? Yeah. It's all right, isn't it? I think it's okay. I'm just wondering it's again. copy and paste, isn't it? I'm just wondering about the, the social thing. Yeah. I just don't know. What, as in, they're going to... Because I don't know whether... Because people... Lo I loved it when you follow the accounts and then their friends and family would and post. post memes but I understand and stuff. why they haven't. But I feel like, as you said, when they repost the memes and stuff, that's, I feel like there was funny. more... I like hype it. and stuff. Whereas now, do you know who was good at running their account? Um, Luca's sister. She, all right, she no, she had some wobbly bits, but as in, as in, when she posted the memes and stuff, that was so funny. Like she'd answer questions and just people would slate Luca, and she'd just put the funniest memes back. Stuff like that's funny. I'm so shook that you just said that. Okay, she didn't take George, something. She well. was the what? Sorry, <laughs> but. She, um, one time she made a list of every single person that had sent hate for him to look at when he left the villa. <laughs> I thought, fuck me. <laughs> Who's got the time? <laughs> you are oh, really right that. No, I just think some of the uh, memes and stuff were funny. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> Friends, family and loved ones. It's Father's Day soon and I bet you haven't got a gift, have you? Because neither have I. Sorry, dad. They're saving the day with a total package for the father figure in your life. It's time to upgrade his game from waist to face. Our dad is so hairy. <laughs> Sounds like I'm setting up a joke, but I'm not. It's not a joke. He's hairy. He's just hairy. He's got a hairy chest, hairy, hairy back. Yeah, hairy arms. I think mum wanted to get him a back sack and crack at one point, but it, we said, manscaped. It doesn't really add up to me though, because he's all hairy there, but not really there. I think that's why. That's why. It comes out in other areas. Agreed. That's yeah. why we do need a bit of manscaped. Mm. Should not be perfect for dad? The performance package 4.0. He will then be the real MVP once he's got like a shaved chest and stuff. Considering he's got hair growing out of all sorts of places, he'll also need the Weed Whacker 2.0 when he... Oh, for ears and nose? Yeah. Yeah, because to be fair, as you get older, you do get a lot of hairs coming out of those areas because I've started to get nose hairs. So guys, get 20% off and free shipping with the code NOTMYBAG. That's with two Gs. That is 20% off and free shipping using the code NOTMYBAG with two Gs at manscaped.com. Make this Father's Day one your father or father figure won't forget with manscaped.com. Yes. There is a new love island. Yes. But for gays. Yes. It's called I Kissed a Boy. Okay. Which is so good. Yes. Have you watched any of it? No. <laughs> it's like, so instead of a love island villa, they call it the Masseria and it's in Italy. Right. And they it's basically all the same concept as Love Island. What's a Masseria? It's a villa, but in Italy. But what does Masseria I mean? I said what I said. I think it's just a big house. I don't know. Guys, you'll have to fact check that, but I don't know what it is. Okay. Anyway, and then um, it's hosted by Danny Minogue. Do you know who that is? No. Nope. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and um, it's actually quite fun. Do you know what? The only thing I feel like when you're gay is that everyone knows everyone. Like I literally followed half of these people before anyway. Did you? Yeah. But they, um, um, it's quite juicy. No, I think I did see one of them because Charlie was watching it mm. and I was making dinner and they'd done something about, correct me if I'm wrong, this might be really wrong, but they'd done something about like body counts or who, how many people yeah, they've they kissed. Did. And, and one, one of them, them was 400. 400, he said 400. Is that I body think, count or is that think, kiss? No, body count. I think the question was, that what, is what do you think is a high body count? And he said 400. Oh. But I mean, that still shows that yours must be quite high. That must be like 200s. What's yours? 
<laughs> Next question. What's yours? It's definitely gone up. It hasn't. It, it hasn't gone it up. Gone it up. hasn't gone up. It's definitely gone up. It hasn't. Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? That's no, even worse. No, like where was I before? I think I'm like nine. Mm, that's a lie. Because we had someone on the other couple of weeks ago and they asked you and you said... Oh, you it was like Grace, 10. You had like Grace and you said 10. Then it was... Then, and then things it's, 10. Have, it's gone back. Yeah. I've taken one of them off. <laughs> um, no, it's 10. It's definitely not 10. I've not... You know what? I'm a born again virgin. Yep. Same. Unless you saw me at Beyonce last night. <laughs> <laughs> so would you ever do like I Kissed a Boy? I think I would. I think I would do a dating show 100%. I mean, it's slim pickings at the minute. Yeah. I'd... Would you do a dating show? I feel like I don't have any choice. What, like, what do you mean? No one's got a gun to your head. Yeah, but like I'm, nothing else is working. So it's like the last resort. You don't even take women out on dates. You can't say nothing's working. Just can't be you had Hinge for a week. Just can't be bothered. Hinge is fucking jokes, bro. I know. Hinge is jokes. Hinge for the minge. That's I'm, what they say. Should I message someone on Hinge right now? Okay, go on. Can you send voice notes? Yeah, you actually can. Should send we? your best voice note on Hinge right no, now. No, I don't know Please. what. I don't know what my best voice note would be. Right, what someone said. I've got loads, bro. Some girl, some, some. I told some girl to shush because she was like, "Are you?" She was like, "Are you George? Are you the Virgin?" Blah blah. I said, "Shush," and she went, "Make me with a winky face." What are you gonna say back? Yeah, let me shove my giant sausage <laughs> into your baguette. <laughs> Well, do you want to answer someone? Yeah. I tried setting you up. Actually, oh. why don't you... So I've had 30 people match me. Well, like they've asked to be thingy. That's no, that's yes. Okay. So can I you also... Can, add, can you add someone who's actually like my type? Okay. I don't know why I'm letting him do this. There's a man on here. That was Sam Fender. Who? <laughs> Sam Fender. This girl's a bit of you. Show me. No, no she's gone now. <sighs> this girl. Show me. Maisie. She sent me a rose as well. Oh, she's Did fit. She? Yeah. Okay. Message or something. Send her a voice sent note. Sent you a rose. That White something. Shit. Hi, hi, Maisie. Oh, no. This isn't great. <laughs> I'm so scared. Hi, Maisie. I'm trying to think of something like quite, like eloquent, quite gentlemanly to say. I'm really rude. No, just quite <laughs> nice. Hi, Maisie. Oh, God. Are you familiar with the phrase <laughs> oh no two in the pink no and one in the stink <laughs> send <laughs> did you actually send it <laughs> you're gonna get banned from hinge now better turn wait where is it oh hi Maisie <laughs> Are you familiar with the phrase two in the pink and one in the stink? Oh. I would say you can message anyone off my phone, but I um I actually don't have dating apps. You so. must have like Grinder. I don't no, know. No, I no, don't. what you do like to do though. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Joe likes to go <laughs> Joe likes to go to another country, have a couple of drinks, and then go on Grinder and set his thingy to like five bar radius and start messaging. It's people. terrible. It's terrible. Joe has two swigs of a drink and he's like, right. That I think that's my that's my downfall. <laughs> what? Cock. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, no, I'm where just, are we going I'm with just that? Oh god, I've got hair in my mouth. Um I just think, yeah, like I'm just once I have a drink and I'm all like loose. I just go crazy. Oh, never say that. <laughs> no, again. I meant like, oh, oh, feeling a bit loose, mate. <laughs> oh, and I make yeah. the most silly mistakes. I go at hoopla, I literally got with an ex's ex. So, sorry. You know what I mean? Sorry. I just see, say I just see them red flags. I said what I said. An ex is. I see I the know, red flags. I know that would have been. I know what ex would that have been. No, you don't. I do. You're not saying a fucking word on here, George. I know what that ex is. You're not saying Because I word. swear you like. You, you've, um, is that the one who's been around the flat? No. It's another ex's ex. Is yeah, it's getting messy though, guys. Yeah, I'm not Joe's on job. Um, anyway, let's talk about Pride Month. Happy Pride. <laughs> Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Ally. What is it? Is it that? That's a peace sign. Ally. You're an ally. Yeah, you are. Ally. Have you got any plans to do any prides this year, George? Not really. 
You're not going to do London Pride again? I didn't actually like London Pride last year. I just thought it was... And as well, I thought... You were very drunk. I blacked out for eight hours. <laughs> George blacked out for eight hours I at London Pride. I was being sick in a bin. I blacked out for eight hours. I got carried home. And tried to neck on with my friend who's a lesbian. Tried to neck on with his friend who's a lesbian. And I always see her in the pub now. <laughs> and he always sees Every her. Every time I see her in the pub, I'm like, Molly, hi. Oh, yeah. you know what? You tried, didn't you? But that was so fucked that night. Like, it was just a long day and it was hot and stuff anyway. And then obviously we got to Joe's friend's lives and everyone was just drinking. She, she did have loads and loads of drink. Yeah. Then I just blacked out. And then I got in the cab and then I got back to the flat and I was all right. Yeah. I was like, George right, like, was literally was like, in happened? the car like, take me to Soho. It was, and we were like, George, we I need to get home. I swear to you, one minute, it was six o'clock in the evening. Mm. And the next thing you know, it was half two a.m. Yeah. on my phone. And I was like, where have them eight hours gone? I just, ha I have glimpse, little flickers of the night. Just that was a thing. wild London like One Pride of her though. friends slept on the floor. Mm. Do you remember? In yeah. a, in a... One of them was shagging in the bathroom while you were throwing up in a, in a bin. Oh yeah, and you could see all the by the window. Nothing says London Pride like a straight man shagging someone else in a toilet. Using a, a pot of Vaseline. In a frosted glass oh. toilet. Using a pot of Vaseline as lube. Happy Pride. Whilst I was being sick in a bin. Whilst George was being sick in a bin. Oh, that was hell. That was fucking wild. That was hell. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Yeah, I've, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to any Pride this year. No. Hoopla was enough for me. Is that, is that like a Pride event? Yeah, it's just, it's just like a gay festival. Like do you get, a, like do you get any straight festival. people there? Yeah. It's just like very inclusive, but it's, it's very like, I'm trying to think of the vibe. It's just like older <laughs> It's music. very gay. <laughs> gay. Gay. Um, gay. It, Fair enough. Like Jamelia was there, you know, superstar, that song. Yes, I can. Jamelia. Jamelia. I saw Leona Lewis on someone's story. Again, if she walked past me, wouldn't have a clue. Oh, George. Like, I know Leona You've Lewis is. You've got a gay is, brother. You need to do better. But like, if she walked past me in the street, I'd be like, no, I would know. <clears throat> nice to meet you. We also need to speak about um, the topic of drama. Because there's been a lot of drama in the last couple of weeks. On. We need to clear something up, guys. Don't we? Do we? Oh, not me and you. Oh. We had a podcast, didn't we? That was, um, you right? Yep, great. Thank you. That was a lot. That was a lot. We had, um, we had a guest in. Mm. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Who decided to say that they wanted to come on my mum's face. And then <laughs> also turned around and went, I actually don't want you to release the episode. That was great. Uh, here's the thing. Maybe don't go on a podcast then and, and say, say you want to come on my mum's face. Yeah, yeah, very true. I think that is the long and short of it. And then like the episode just didn't perform very well. And then the episode didn't make sense because all of the context was removed because you were trying to finger blast my mum under the desk. Oh my God. Never, ever, ever say that again. Please. That is horrid. Can't so, it just came out your mouth. Yeah. And I mean, it was horrid to sit through, George. It really was. I think there is bigger drama going on in the world. Just than that, maybe like the Phil and Holly scandal, yes, and big things yes, like that. Yes, that is yes. huge. And I was in the car this morning and apparently Holly has done a thing. So I want to watch it. She's done a, like a statement. Um, she's back on this morning. Yeah, she's done a statement. So we're going to watch it and we'll react to it. And this is the first time we've watched it. Oh my God. Um, Do you want me to slide over? Actually, just scoot in the middle a bit and we'll go on the main camera. Scoot, scoot, wait, scoot, wait, scoot, wait, wait. scoot, scoot. So where am I scoot? Scoot here. Scoot, scoot. Scoot here. Scoot here. Yeah. Let me get it. I'm like, oh my God, what's the article say? I'm like, I'm nervous to watch it. A message to you from Holly. Oh, uh, the drama, the drama, the drama. Up, quick, quick, quick. Wait, quick. Right, deep breath. That's already acting. Firstly, are you okay? I hope so. It feels very strange indeed sitting here without Phil. And I imagine that you might have been feeling a lot like I have. Shaken, troubled, let down worried for the well-being of people on all sides of what's been going on and full of questions. You, me and all of us at This Morning gave our love and support to someone who was not telling the truth, who acted in a way that they themselves felt that they had. Oh, it's already so juicy. It's very scripted though. I mean, you couldn't do this just off off the cuff like the, you'd have to have it rehearsed yeah and the way she started it like <sighs> no i know and then she I was know. like how how it's affecting all sides of the party i don't feel bad do you think feel. she wrote this no no her, her she would have got to get people to write this oh yeah. it's very like resigned from itv and stepped down from a career that they loved that is a lot to process 
and it's equally hard to see the toll that it's taken on their own mental health. I think what unites us all now is a desire to heal for the health and well-being of everyone. She didn't write this. I hope no. that as we start this new chapter and get back to a place of warmth and magic that this show holds for all of us, we can find strength in each other. And from my heart, can I just say thank you for all of your kind messages. He hasn't and killed you. anyone. And also... He hasn't killed anyone. They're acting like he's fucking done... Like, obviously, it's really bad what happened, right? But that is... This is so dramatic, isn't it? The thing I don't get as well, right, is... There's no way that you are best friends for 25 years and you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah, I'm sorry, like... Me and you, we're so close with brothers. We know 99.9% .9 of the time what's going on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And she's like, oh, he's lied to us. I personally think she knew, ITV knew. Oh, I, like, think knew. I think everyone knew. Everyone knew, knew, and now it's just come out. Do you know what I think hasn't helped is the whole situation with his brother. I think that's instigated everything going on. Of course, yeah, uh, yeah. See, like, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, like, go in at him and whatever, especially because of the, the be kind thing. I know I made that TikTok <laughs> making a joke, right? But I was literally just like, do you know what I mean? I was, it wasn't like a bullying thing. It was just like making humor of a situation. But then I saw the interview and I was like, okay, like it's affecting him really badly. I feel like everyone should kind of back off because realistically, you know, it's been blown out of proportion. But at the same time, it's like, why is it also this big of a deal? It's like what everyone's talking about, isn't it? Mm. You can't go anywhere without people talking about it. But then what's, but then you just think if, if it is this much of a big deal, some, it must be serious. Yeah. We must not know half of yeah. it if they've sacked him and this has happened and he's going to be jobless well, he walked, didn't he? He didn't get sacked. But do you know whose opinion I want to hear on this? Kim Woodburn. Yeah. She, I feel like she knew something way before everyone. Oh, we stand Kim Woodburn. She was, she's, she's right. Yeah, no, that's wild. I can't believe that. Wait, how did she finish it? Myself, Josie, Derma, Alison, Craig, and every single person that works on this show will continue to work hard every single day to bring you that this show that we love. So on that note, Josie, what the hell are you bringing? Oh, why are they all crying and stuff? But I mean, this is what the like middle-aged population relish in, don't they? Mm. This sort of stuff. So I understand why they've done it, but oh my, I'm tired of it now. What is that saying? It's like today's drama is like tomorrow's chip shop paper. That is definitely not the fucking saying, but it's saying along that lines. You know, Today's drama is tomorrow. There's a saying, Rosie, isn't there a paper. saying like that? Today's drama I love the way I'm like, can we fact check? Tomorrow's chip shop paper. It's something like that. I've got hair in my mouth. I don't know whether it's from right now or last night. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Also, just touching on the situation really quickly. Do you know who's pissed me off about it? Tell me. Eamon Holmes and Dan oh. Wooden. There was no need. And if you did know about it before, then why didn't you speak about it before? And Dan Wotton, just like, it was like a witch hunt. That was horrible, that whole bit. Mm. It was so unnecessary. Do you know what I mean? I just, I just think that's like clawing at relevance. I then. feel like a situation like this is all down to like people's views and opinion and how they want to take it. Because obviously you, you can sit there and be like, look, we don't know the full extent of it. Let's cut him some slack, blah, blah, blah. But then you've obviously got the other people who are like, no, he's been grooming a whoever or yeah. whatever's happened, blah, blah. And then but I and just, there's people like Dan Wood who go in it. I just think in the industry, like there was no need for that to happen. But I think I think a lot of it as well was... I'm, the aim, I'm talking about the Eamon thing. No, 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 no I know. But what I'm saying is, is Ruth got sacked, didn't she, from this morning? I, did, I didn't know that. Yeah, Ruth got sacked from this morning because she put in a formal complaint. I didn't about know that. Phil, I'm pretty sure. Oh, so okay. it's something along those lines. Don't like quote me. And then I think now this has all come out. It's Eamon's yeah. built up anger over the years. Like you may yeah. have got my wife sacked from this morning. I, did she get sacked? I don't know. Yeah, they both got sacked. Yeah. So this is what I mean. It's like, I know, it's like but, a bit oh, of revenge so sort of it? thing, isn't it? Yeah. I've got a sweaty gooch. Sorry. But yeah, sorry. Well, on a more positive note, <laughs> I want to play a game. Yeah. You know, I've wanted to play this for ages as well. So I've seen on TikTok that these people play this thing. It's like, um, who's punching in a couple? Right. So they list couples and they talk about who's punching. Mm -hmm. So we got a list together and we thought we'd play it. This is going to get juicy. I literally sound like a 50 year old man. You do. But to be fair, your insides are probably not far off 50. I need a health and wellness retreat. You do this once a month. I need green juice up my ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, right? Joe does a health and wellness retreat once 
every two months, for example, you take yourself away to a spa, you have yep. a couple of days. I do. And then it's every... And that's what keeps me going, Six George. weeks later, you do. You need the same thing. Yeah. And I haven't never Oh, had today one. I need a grave. Okay, that's a bit dark. <laughs> right. Right. So we're going to play... Um, should we call it Who's Punching? Who's Punching. That's a really good name. Um, number one. We'll put the pictures on the screen, by the way. Millie and Liam. Millie caught Liam Reardon. I think that's how you say his name. Who do you think's punching? Millie and Liam. Oh. I know I think's punching. Wait. Oh, go on. You say you. Liam's punching. Why? That should be me. <laughs> um, let me look him I, up. I just think Liam's punching. Let me look him up. Millie's a beautiful girl inside and out. <laughs> Liam. He's well fit. He's Welsh as well. I'm a fucking... He I'm is well else. fit. My name's Liam Reardon and I... But fucking... as, a, as a big fan of Millie, I would say that he's punching. Right. But if he is single at any point... I feel like you look a bit like him. Not today. Not today. Today I look like him in a blender. You act... Your... Everything about you is matching today. Is it? What, the colour of my skin? <laughs> <laughs> skin colour. Um, I've still got my stamp on from Libertines last night. Oh, wild. Um, Next couple. Oh, update everyone. Oh. I had Botox. Carry on. I didn't. Yeah, I could literally swipe a club card on your forehead. All right. Next next question. That hurt. Uh, Grace and Billy. Ooh, <sighs> this is actually, I think this is a bit tough. Who's punching, Grace or Billy? Bo no, they can't. Can you both be punching? No. They're very equally matched. That's why they're think. very good for each other. They just are on similar vibes for everything. It, I don't know who I'd choose. Grace and Billy. I'd say Billy's punching. In solidarity with Grace, I love you, Billy. Yeah. I'd say I'd say Billy's punching. Yeah, I love you, Bill. But, but we love you. But I just say you're punching, George. Uh, but no, this is what I mean. I don't really have a, a lot of reasoning. It's just because we stand Grace. Yeah. But then uh, you've known Billy longer. You're snaking oh, on. Grace you. is punching. Grace is punching. <laughs> right. Right. Next one. Emily and Cam. Emily Faye Miller and Cam Holmes. Who's punching? Cam's punching. That was quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love I love him and I love them both. But um, no, he's he's punching. <laughs> Why are you even pretending? Why are you even pretending? I've got to think. Cam's punching. Yeah. Next. After Emily and Cam, we've got Lisa and Tell. Who's Who are they? Our mum and dad. Oh. Fuck. No, I thought, I thought there was, I thought. Are you okay? No. Who's Lisa and Tell? Um, our parents of all our life. Who's punching? Dad. Dad. Sorry, dad. Because you got to think about even when they got with each other back then, I'm pretty sure dad's hair was thinning and then stuff. Yeah, but he's still good looking for being bold and that, isn't he? <laughs> still good looking for being bold and that. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, dad, dad's suave, but like... Out of you and I, I think you're going to lose your hair. That's a fucking lie and don't piss me off. I can, I can literally see how far your hair back is going back from here. I've just got a lot of product. I'm not receding. Come here. You're a liar. Come here. I'm not receding. We're I'll not, pull the corners we're back. We're not doing this here. I'll pull the corners back. No receding. Straight. This isn't receding. This is my hairline. No, it's not. No. <laughs> 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 Is that, is that your headline? Is it fuck? I'm sorry. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Wait. Sorry. It's the little quiff that tries to hide it. Just, I'm sorry, just don't send for my hairline. Oh. Who's next? Anna and Harry. Anna. Maynard. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Who do you think's punching? Um, I don't know, he's punching. I don't really know them that well. He's punching. Not as well as you know them. <laughs> oh. I don't know that couple as well as you do, George. I don't. I, I only know one half of the couple, really. 
Maybe a bit too well. <laughs> Who do you think's punching out of them two? I just, I just always said I think he is. He, he's punching? Yeah, I don't really know them too well. Yeah, I'd say she is. Okay. Coco and Joel Corey, which isn't a made-up couple, by the way. It was on the news that they're now apparently seeing each other. Are they? Apparently so. I'll pop her a message and ask. Um, Coco or Joel? I think Joel's punching. Do you? I think Coco is. Do you? Mm. I love Coco. No, don't get me wrong. You're a big fan of Joel Corey though, aren't but you? I'm a big Joel Corey fan. And yeah. he's like a worldwide DJ now. Yeah. He must have a lot of, lot of gal. Okay. A lot of gal. You're a big fan. Yeah. I thought you were going to come with a no. joke. No. Just... Okay. Don't know how to take you today. <laughs> um, Max and Andrew. Oh, fuck. I think they're really well suited. They are really well suited. These ones are hard because I don't know. I'm only going to say Max is punching because Andrew has just got that Greek in him and he's a bit more tanned. Andrew's got massive calves. I wondered, I wondered Andrew what has. you were going to say then. Oh my, Andrew's got a massive calf. Andrew has the biggest calves I've ever seen on any man. When were you looking? What, yesterday? No, I've already told him like numerous times. He's got like cyclist legs. <laughs> so on that basis, I think Max is punching because of the size of Andrew's legs. That is so fucking weird. But I do love Max, obviously. Obviously. Um, Megs and Josh. Josh Ryan and... Megs McLaughlin. Yeah. Hmm. Well, this is a really hard one for you because you're really good mates of Josh. Josh is my boy. I'm going to have to say Megs is punching because Josh is my boy. I think Josh is punching. Wait, who, who did I say is punching? Megs. Megs is punching, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're saying Josh is punching? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Why did you say that? Because I know that's what you actually want to say. <laughs> <laughs> so how about that? No. Yeah. Um, and Jamie Lang and Sophie. Is it Sophie Lang now? They've just, been ma they've just got married. Is it Sophie Lang? Is it Sophie Lang now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they've, been, they've got married. Jamie Lang and Sophie. He is hundred ten percent punching. <laughs> that man is fighting in the what? What is <laughs> fighting for his life in the group chat? <laughs> <laughs> that man is fighting a misfits boxing match. That is how much he's punching. Oh. He's swinging. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I'd say. Yeah, I'd say it's sixty forty in it. Seventy thirty. I, I, they give me the vibe that every time she comes downstairs for like, say they got a date night in a dress, he just cries. Date cries eyes right? out. I think he sits there like. Oh. Because he's just so pretty. Joe, we've been on his podcast. Yeah, I can say he's punching. Okay, yeah, you've said a bit more than he's punching. You've, you've gone a bit further than he's punching. No. You said he's fighting a misfits boxing match. He cries every time he sees her. No, I think, <laughs> I think he looks like Boris Johnson on a Zen pick. <laughs> he looks like... <laughs> A Zempic's that new drug that everyone's taking in the US to make him skinny, and that's literally what he looks like, Boris what Johnson on a Zempic. Flying. Fuck. But I think he's great. He's so funny, talented. I think, you know, I love his little candy minges or whatever they're called, candy kittens. Candy kittens. Um, and I think he's great. You're right, you're taking the sausage costume off. Yeah, I can breathe now. You're too hot. You've not Ooh. got no sweaty gooch left. Nope, not about that. Uh, well, um, we also haven't caught up since the Ibiza trip, or particularly on the podcast, that we went on with everyone a couple of weeks ago. That was fun. Which was so good. Actually, it was fun. Very chaotic. Lot going on. Oh, do you know what? The most that's ever happened in, 20, in 48 hours. Like, even Grace almost drowning in that fountain was just... And that was the first night. Wait, did she tell me she's got scabies? Someone told me last night that they've got scabies. Like, I thought scabies was fake. Who told me they've got scabies? What scabies? Grace has been telling everyone she's got scabies. What scabies? It's like a, what is scabies, Rosie? Yeah, it's like something really bad. Anyway, oh, Grace. One thing I do want to clear up though from the comments of that video was that everyone was like, Max is such a good friend for getting yeah. Grace out of the fountain. Guys, Max was the one that raced her to the fountain and she fell. Max, and then and then the funniest thing about the video is that he's like, oh God, she's actually dunked in. Well, she went under. Well, what happened was, was obviously like, she was she was quite drunk. We'd all been drinking. We'd had dinner, blah, blah, blah. They obviously raced off. But and she hit the fresh air. She, yeah, and she went to like jump in. 
I don't but think- No, no, no. So from the video that we can see from Max's, I've done my investigating, right? She's gone to put her foot down, not realize one, how deep it is. And two, when her foot's hit it, it's all like algae on the bottom. So she slipped. Oh. Where she's so drunk, her whole body's fell in. And she, because obviously if you were sober, you'd probably oh, pull yourself out. Yeah, yeah. But she's just gone forward with emotion, fell in. Guys, I grabbed her phone so fucking fast. I thought that is that woman's job. And all in her she hand. was worried about was her lost Mary. I swear to you, I swear to you, she wasn't asking about her phone. She had no shoes on. She didn't know where we were in IB for. All she was going was vibe. Vibe! And I was having to walk and hand we, her a vape. George and I had to carry Grace back. 25 minute walk. 25 minute up walk. hills, down hills. Up the hills in Ibiza of her screaming, my pussy! My <laughs> and bearing in mind though, like a lot of the time she was walking, but then obviously we were really conscious that it was glass on the floor. And so she we was barefoot. Pick, so we were having to pick her up. Then she was swinging her leg, shouting my pussy. And then it was just a lot. It was a lot. And then when we got back to the hotel... They weren't going to like let us all in because they couldn't see our wristbands. Actually. Yeah. Remember, we were like, we need to get her out. Like, we don't want people seeing her like this. We got into the hotel room. Can I just say, I went full PR mum mode. Oh, yeah. No pictures, I, nothing. I, I made sure that we were fast. I said, no one say grace. No one make it known like that she's looks like a drowned rat, rat yeah. right now screaming my pussy i was like grace can we just it was hell it <laughs> was she hell got, she got into the room and she was getting changed and then she kind of like rested her head on my on my arm right and i was like for some reason because i was still a bit like we sobered up don't get me wrong yeah, yeah. We? but I was oh still, we definitely sobered i was up. still a bit like pissed yeah, right? yeah and then she's on my shoulder and i just go to get up and i'm like oh and then she goes and just like falls off the bed and everyone's like, oh, Grace. My favourite like, uh. thing ever was that we were trying to move her across the bed and if she was like a limp, lifeless body. We just had to like chuck her <laughs> and like flip her over. Yeah. Oh, she's funny. She's but funny. That was that was the first night. Yeah. The second day was just absolute chaos. The second day, oh, we had to wake up and go jet skiing. That was fucking so good. Yeah, the jet skiing was oh really my God. fun. If you can ever do jet skiing anywhere, like cause we, we've even done it in, um, we done it in Benidorm, which was yeah. amazing. We've done it in Ibiza, which was amazing. Guys, I hit a wave at like 50 miles an hour. Oh yeah, you hour. got thrown off it. Yeah, I hit a wave at 50 miles an hour. I mean, Izzy Oakley, when I tell you, we, we soared. We were flying through the air, but actually it was a bit scary because- It's so dark. Because water, yeah, it? apparently like, so apparently lots of people can die on jet skis because of how fast they go and the accidents and that. And it's so quick how you can just hit the water. Mm. Izzy was gasping for air. I was like pulling <laughs> her up. I felt so bad. But that was fun. Charlie Marlowe almost threw up. Yeah. Over Grace. I've actually just seen, I love Charlie to bits, but she's, she's out in Croatia doing a yacht week. I know. And she, she get, has motion sickness. And she gets motion sickness. Which I don't, understand type but anyway that's another conversation she said she went on a trip and um she had to leave the big boat because she felt sick and they had to dinghy her to mainland <laughs> that is such an ick i love her but that is such an ick imagine watching like the person you fancy being like rowed to shore i can't I love her. her i love her so then what did we do in the afternoon then we had like a pool party I, yeah. i'm pretty sure we had becky hill no we had Fingy first, Joel Corey first. Oh, okay, Joel Corey, yeah. Then we yeah. went out in the, that evening and had some more food. Then mm. we woke up next morning. We had a nice lay-in. Then we had <laughs> another bit of lunch. There was a big Becky Hill saga. Um, I think if you want to know about it, just ask Max. Yeah, go over to Max and he'll probably yeah, explain it all. It was a lot. And then, and then we had a lot of time to kill. And then we had high IB for opening. I don't want to talk about that either. Which was unreal. Yeah. Unreal. Like, no, but that was sick. We had a little VIP bit, big bottle of body in that. That was fun. I threw up. Joe threw up. I threw up everywhere. But we did have our I own toilet. It was quite close. vomited all over the floor. What? In, I thought you went to the toilet. Yeah, everywhere. Uh, oh, and there was cleaners outside. I oh, know, bless them. They went in after everyone went in I there. Know, bless them. To be fair, I hadn't eaten much that holiday, so it was quite skinny sick. It was just... Oh, I felt rough on that plane ride home. I right. guys, we need to stop drinking before getting on planes. And now I understand why Grace doesn't drink the day before getting on a plane, because fuck me. It just makes everything 10 times harder. It is absolutely it's horrible. And my ears never pop properly. Anyway, we digress. We move. Have you got any holidays coming up? Um, I want to go away. I think I might be going to Greece with Moyo and Josh, oh. which will be nice. Well, thank you for the invite. <laughs> uh, I just want to get away, have, mm. a, have a bit of time off. We got summertime ball coming up, which I oh know it's not a holiday, but I'm just saying. We got yes, that coming up. I'm so excited for that. Yeah, it's yeah. meant to be like 26 degrees as well, by the way. Do you know that? Is it? Yeah. I wish Harry Styles was there this it's year. It's meant to be like 26 I'd degrees. I'd lick the sweat off that man's forehead in 26 degree heat. Lewis Capaldi's <sighs> there. I might do it to him. I love Lewis Capaldi. Um, I hope I meet him don't again. Don't ever say that again. What? The, the, the sweat thing. 
Please. Okay. Please. 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 Um, yeah, so that's going to be really fun. We've got, we've got like cool shoots together this week. Do we? Yep. Thursday, Friday. Guys, I don't even know where the fuck I am. Joe don't even know what day it is. To be fair though, I have had an amazing two weeks. <laughs> was that convincing was that convincing enough no no it's been good it's been good i'm just getting out there again living my life hot girl summer mm. enjoying myself i'm gonna go summertime ball and you know say hi to everyone what, what was that face for i'm just i'm not who are you most excited to see slash potentially meet a summertime ball joel Corey. <laughs> that's a joke i've met before <laughs> that's a joke i'm not, I'm not um, like a fan i don't know who are you excited to see calvin harris is there yeah, but didn't we see him last year? Oh, no, that's David I'd Gale. love to meet Calvin Harris. That's um, David Gale, yeah. Flo. Calvin Harris is like six foot five, isn't he? Ray. It? Zara oh. Larson. Oh, wait. If we meet Ray, I want to sing Thingy of uh, Escapism. Do you think you could do it? No. I think you buckle under the pressure. Yeah, I think I'd, I'd do it. I wouldn't be able to do it. Give me two vodka cranberries and I'll take that woman's slot on the stage. <laughs> do you know who I really do want to meet? Tell me. You can guess and it's such a rogue one. Jet two. Becky Hill. Jess Glynn. Oh. I want to meet Jess Glynn. Thank you. I want to meet Jess Glynn. What would you sing to her? Thingy? I would hold her hand <laughs> and I would serenade her. That song is just, it's a lot, isn't it? I think she's great. Hey, wait, is she at some time ball? Yeah. And is she going to sing? Yeah, she's a singer. Oh. No, I just... <laughs> is there anyone else you're looking forward to? I don't really... Like know. H and that's not there this year, are they? No. Ardy? Know. He's not there, is he? I, d I haven't seen the lineup. You got beef anyway. No, I don't have beef with Ardy. George Baggs has beef with Ardy. He wants to get him in the ring. <laughs> you do? I would You've box him, it. though. You've said it so many times you want to box him. No, I just think that'd be funny. He's like the same height as me, probably the same weight ish. He's got a crippling vape addiction as well, like me, Does probably. He? Don't know. Oh, while you're here, why don't you plug what you're training for at the minute? Oh, yeah, I'm doing a charity football match on the 18th of June for Tom Parker. Um,. And yeah, that'll be fun. That's my first big charity match. Yeah. But that'd be really, really fun. Who you, who you booting about with? It's like Tom Skinner, Jake Quickenden, Casey Parker, Ryan Thomas. Um, Luke, Scott Thomas's brother. Yeah. We love. Luca Bish. Um, there's there's loads of... They keep announcing new people every week. But it right. should be fun. It, fun. It's in Bromley. Um, I'm going to come you and can, watch. You can buy tickets to come watch if you want. That'd be quite yeah. cool. But yeah, Let's it's really, get a cheerleading really... squad out for George. But I just need to like, it's just cardio. Like, I just don't want to be blowing after 10 minutes. You need to stop vaping. That's what you need to do. I have. If there is one message to take away from today's podcast, it's to not vape. Put the vapes down. Put the vapes down. Drinks up. And the fingers up. That silence is so loud. On that note, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> I feel like I've had a hungover debrief with everyone on the podcast this morning. I don't even know how I made it out of bed today. Yeah, Joe is, guys, I just want to say Joe is not in a good way. Yeah, but I've had fun. You've had fun and I've, I've had, had fun, fun. But you're not in a good way. But um, yeah, all. I pretty much need to inject myself with that Red Bull. Yeah, I actually... No, nah, I need a nap. One. I'm probably going to go nap in the boot of my car now. Is that legal? No. And on that note, <laughs> thank you for watching. We'll be back next week with a very special guest. And... Um, Guys, if you are watching, if you're listening on Spotify, please, please, please rate us five stars. It helps massively. I'll just do the rest of it. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please um, like, subscribe, comment. All the social links will be down below. If you don't, obviously follow me and Joe. Please do it. But yeah, on that note, we love you, Joe Corey. We love everybody. Thank you so much for watching uh, or listening, and we will see you again. Bye. Next week. See you later. Uh -huh.